Well, they look just like a USB flash drive, but they pack a potent punch. If you haven't heard of a jewel, you might want to ask the teenagers around your house because Aiden on your side's Peter Bernard is here tonight to show us why this new vapor craze has teens puffing up a storm, as well as Peter Bernard doing a little vaping himself here on set tonight. I'm giving it a shot. I am not a vapor, but there it is. It's small. It, it does look like a USB. Yeah, and it, yeah, this is the flavor pot. It just goes right in there. Oh, this wow. is mostly a battery. Yeah. It can be purchased just about anywhere, and they call it jeweling. And people are buying these things, and they're using them behind teachers' backs and away from parents' eyes. Say goodbye to the way people vaped last year. That's so 2017. There's a new kid in town, and it's called a jewel. Seminole High sophomore Chase Wiley tells me he sees students jeweling all the time. Sometimes you walk into the bathroom, there'd just be a group of people and look at you weird because you're trying to, you know, use the restroom. Here's why. Vapes of years gone by spewed clouds of vapor into the air. So now they're going back down from this size to this size. It's a big, big difference. You charge up a Juul by plugging it into your laptop or any USB port. Once it's charged, all you have to do is put on the pod and you're ready to puff. It flies off the shelves. Leo Casadillo explains jewels come with a preset 5% nicotine content. That's the ingredient that can get you hooked. He won't sell to anyone under 18. Definitely not. This is not meant for a 12-year-old, not a 13-year-old, not a 14-year-old. I didn't like having to spend the money on the pods, and I didn't like being addicted. Another Seminole High student we'll call Joshua began and ended his addiction to jeweling over the past two months. A lot of people in school were doing it, and I, uh, I was just wanted to try it and I kind of got hooked on it because a lot of my friends did it. Joshua never vaped before and doesn't smoke, but the lure of jeweling was too much to pass up. It kind of chilled your body. It's kind of like when you're really stressed out about something, you're frantic, you're moving a lot, and it just calms you down. While some pass off jeweling like a safe alternative to smoking, this Johns Hopkins All Children's Hospital doctor tells me don't believe it. As a lung doctor, I have concern about people inhaling anything that doesn't belong there. Dr. Kreisman is concerned not only about the nicotine, but other ingredients in jewels. Add in users with developing young brains, and his worry level goes up. We're talking about kids who, in theory, shouldn't already be tobacco smokers. So having them start on an addictive substance, which nicotine is, is not a great idea. Students who jewel can easily conceal the device. You can, you know, keep it in your pocket, walk around school. You know, it's really tiny. You can keep it in a wallet and all sorts of different things. It's just really easy to hide. Chase Wiley made this YouTube video showing his experiment comparing cigarettes to jewels. His result? Jewels are definitely a better alternative to smoking cigarettes. But not necessarily healthy. Each pod is equivalent to one pack of cigarettes. And older students have found a way to make a quick buck. They're buying these and then selling them to their friends mm -hmm. so that's where the where the problem starts to happen Joshua is happy he quit yeah. jeweling there's times where it's like everybody's doing it and you're just the only one not but in the long run it's better the FDA is cracking down on retailers who sell jewels to children and the makers of jewels are trying to police sales themselves with an age verification on their website but students buy them at gas stations convenience stores and they sell them for double the price and they're making a pretty good profit are they expensive well I think so this is $45 these are $5 a piece you buy them in a pack of uh, four at a time so it can get rather expensive and remember each one of these is equivalent to a pack of cigarettes so yeah. it's five percent nicotine I don't know what cigarettes are but they're equivalent to a pack well you can see where the doctor might have some concerns about this and oh, how yeah. easy it is and trendy it is for kids to getting all those ingredients in there too that you know you really want to puff yeah. on that no all right thank you Peter and a nice job thanks. showing how that works thank you you really made that look cool thanks you know head to WFLA.com for more facts on jeweling and the dangers this actually presents to your young people out there our web team has also created a chart that compares jeweling to cigarette smoking